Hi uh, guys, M0 Sugar Golf Sugar once again, another video this time on uh, repeaters and how to program a repeater um, using the FCM 100DE. Uh, I showed you earlier about how to program a single channel frequency uh, and now we're going to program a repeater. As you know in West Yorkshire, repeaters uh, have a tone uh, frequency or a tone squelch frequency and it also has a repeater shift um, on the FT100 that repeater shift is automatic um, and on 2 meters the repeater shift is minus 600 um, so if uh, the output of a, a repeater is uh, say 725 the input of the repeater i.e. where you want to transmit into it is, uh, is 125 so um, what we're going to do this morning is we'll show you how to quickly program a repeater and I'm going to program the repeater GB3TP and I'll be setting up the alpha tag for it as you can see it's already in my memories but uh, you can never have uh, the uh, a good repeater too many times in your memories so uh, we'll do that again again we're going to be using the button uh, V stroke M MW which is uh, VFO and memory uh, and memory right and we'll also be using the button on the right on the far right called display and setup uh, as I said this radio has two modes of operation with the buttons you either have a short press i.e. a quick press and it'll do the uh, the function that's on the top or you can hold it in for a second and it'll do the function that's uh, listed at the bottom so short press you'll do display the ISP and uh, a long press you'll get the setup menu so I'll do that now short press and it changes to the display that you can see on the left of the screen and that's the 66 channel GPI, uh, GPA, GPS that's built into the radio and click it again uh, and it will show the compass and the uh, the speed uh, I've not set this up so it's basically it thinks it's still in my car doing something but it's not um, so what I'm going to do now is I'll get it back on to, uh, to the display for GP3TP and uh, we'll give it a long press and we're going to go into, uh, into the... In fact before we do that um, I'm just going to press that button and go back into VFO mode. As you can see that's the output frequency of GP3TP. Um, it's uh, 725. The, uh, the automatic repeater shift will take, will take the transmit down to uh, 125 automatically so you don't have to mess with that side of things which is a good thing so I'm going to program this repeater into the next spare memory to program it in all you have to do is press and hold uh, the display setup button and that will take you into your setup menu uh, the setup menu we're concerned with for doing repeaters is signalling so all you do is a short press to get into signalling and as you can see there's a, a big list of features that you can play with uh, a lot more than you'd see on a normal 2 meter 70 centimetre radio but uh, this radio does a lot more so uh, first thing we want to set up is the tone squelch frequency in West Yorkshire where I live um, most of the repeaters operate on 82.5 not all but most so uh, that's the tone squelch we need to set up so you press it again and it'll take in and you'll see a list of uh, tone squelch frequencies south yorkshire uses uh, 71.9 um, north yorkshire or some of the far repeaters up north that i can hit uh, go up as high as 103 so uh, um, you can basically choose anything it goes all the way down you know through the uh, sequence all the way up so uh, the highest one you can use is uh, 254.1 and the lowest one you can use is 67. So we need 82.5 for York West Yorkshire. So once you've chosen that, just click the back button. Uh, the next thing we need to do is a squelch type. Uh, we have to encode uh, the tone uh, to hit the repeater. So we'll go to squelch type, hit the display button quickly and it's already set to tone encrypt uh, if you flick the button round you can have it off so it uh, doesn't operate have it on uh, have a tone squelch uh, reverse tone 
DCS, which is a digital code squelch, uh, PR frequency, private frequency, uh, pager. I'll show you all those later on in, in other videos. But for now, we want to select tone and encode. Click the back button again, and again, and again. And we're back on the VFO, and as you can see, we're still on the output of 725. But now we've set up the 82.5 CTCSS, and we've also got the uh, tone encode on. And as you can see, uh, the ENC at the top says yes, it's ENC, it's encoded, and yes, it's a minus encode because we're on two meters. And so it's going to minus the code by 600 hertz, so it will actually transmit the radio on uh, 145. Point one two five. Okay, now to put it into the memory. Quick and simple. Press and hold the VMMW key, and you'll get the menu up uh, for writing the uh, the memory the memory tags into the uh, the memory slot. So we're going to put it in slot sixty seven. Uh, we're going to put a tag on it. So we press the tag button, turn the dial, and you'll see it'll come up with letters. So we've got G, and find B. Now this is where it gets a bit tricky. If you go on the other side and press the uh, A and small A button, uh, that'll let you scroll through the alphanumeric characters. That's a space, and that's a small A, and that's a number. So we're going to put in number three, move it along, uh, select a capital letter, because I like everything in capitals when it comes to repeaters and we're going to look for T as you can see above I've already put it in once um, but uh, I had to make sure I knew how to do it before uh, I passed it on to you so that's why it's there uh, find the P now at this point uh, you press the button once and it'll send the whole line black to say that it's in the list and I always like to give it a second press and then it'll take you back to uh, the memories to show you that it's actually in memory. So 66 and 67 should be TP, uh, which they are, because that's one I programmed previously and that's one I've just programmed now. Dead simple to do repeaters on the FTM. Um, thanks for watching the video, M0 Sugar Gold Sugar. Uh, I hope to see you later with uh, other videos on uh, APRS and the GPS section. Good luck uh, in programming your radio and I hope you have a super fine time with it. Digital modes is a fantastic system and uh, yes who made it a whole lot easier. From M0 Sugar Gold Sugar 73.